So Sony have finally responded to the accusations regarding that this game, Spider-Man PS5 Miles Morales, has actually been misleading. Now, there's been a lot of fuss over the internet over the last, I guess, 48 hours and more, so we've got a bunch of stuff to talk about alongside some really, really cool things, as you've probably seen in the thumbnail. Now, a quick question to you guys. If you could only get one game this year, would it be Spider-Man PS5 or, of course, the new Avengers game? I want you to comment down in the comments below and of course don't forget I'm doing a giveaway of instant gaming this month where you can win a game of your choice for free so go ahead and visit the link in the description below and if you could drop a like on the video it really helps a ton as well it's just the cool stuff okay now diving in to this video so to kick it off with Sony actually responding now they've actually come out and insist that Marvel Spider-Man Miles Morales PlayStation 5 reveal was not misleading now of course there's been a lot of confusion is this an expansion is it a brand new game is it a direct sequel is it spider-man 2 etc etc now they've actually come out and actually discussed literally like within the 24 hours after they revealed it that it is actually an expansion but it's actually a standalone game if that makes sense so as far as campaign goes I mean from my perspective and if you compare it to Uncharted games where it's essentially an expansion but a standalone game it could be like 10 hours or so campaign but the boss who is actually called Jim Ryan actually told CNET that accusations of the organization misleading fans are actually unfounded now his exact words were I can safely say that we would not effectively lead the next gen portion of the show with something that was either trivial or misleading so of course what does this mean it is a big deal a lot of people were of course confused but I guess we're gonna have to find out more about this game as we get closer to of course the holiday 2020 release but if it was I mean it's safe to say the way it was announced there was a bit confusion but hey nonetheless it gets me excited because we also know there's an actual Spider-Man 2 specifically for next gen in the making and hopefully that Miles Morales will be essentially like a sequel to that if that makes sense. Now on top of that we got some really cool things to show off so I actually want to point out the Spider-Man PS5 Miles Morales game cover that somebody did post on Reddit. Now this is absolutely phenomenal I think it's a really really cool piece of art but most importantly I'm gonna link the dude's graphics Instagram channel or account whatever you want to call it in the description below because that's where you'll see his work and he's done a bunch of different artwork as well which are of course all fan created for different games and he seems like a very 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 cool designer so go ahead and support him the links to that are in the description below now also as we're on the topic of designs we know that is it gonna be well when I say we know I mean it's more of like an is it gonna happen type of situation right with spider-man ps4 we got a brand new console that of course is spider-man designed are we gonna get one for the playstation 5 for spider-man miles morales well somebody on twitter who is called boss logic actually went ahead and put this here so we've got the standard playstation 5 to the left and the, I guess what would be the limited edition, of course, Mars Morales PlayStation 5 to the right. Now, I think this is really, really cool. There's a bunch of different ones, as you can see on screen as well. People are just being very creative with this design. And I think there's a lot of ways you can go about this, but these do definitely look really cool. So again, leave your thoughts on this in the comments below. But hopefully this video clears up your confusion if you had any regard in this. And again, we can only take good news from it and that is that there is an actual Spider-Man 2 in the making and that this is essentially just a sequel to Spider-Man PS4 to an extent, better graphics and so forth, gameplay aspects but hey we need to see more of that stuff but guys it's going to wrap up the video here as always subscribe for more awesome content if you haven't already until the next one have yourselves a ridiculously amazing day and adios amigos